listening to my third part of the video. So let's go to the audio of listening comprehension, okay? Why did this be topic? Why did this be okay? So guys, you all are ready to listen to the audio? Okay. Walt Disney, a pioneer and innovator and the possessor of one of the most fertile imaginations the world has ever known, Walt Disney, along with members of his staff, received more than 950 honors and citations from throughout the world, including 48 Academy Awards and seven Emmys in his lifetime. The creator of Mickey Mouse and the founder of Disneyland and Walt Disney World, was born in Chicago, Illinois on 5th December 1901. Walt Disney had a very early interest in drawing and art. When he was seven years old, he sold small sketches and drawings to nearby neighbors. Instead of doing his school work, Walt doodled pictures of animals and nature. At school, he began to entertain his friends by imitating his silent screen hero, Charlie Chaplin. At his teacher's invitation, Walt would tell his classmates stories while illustrating on the chalkboard. Mickey Mouse was created in 1928 and his talents were first used in a silent cartoon entitled Plain Crazy. However, before the cartoon could be released, sound burst upon the motion picture screen. Thus, Mickey made his screen debut in the Steamboat Willie, the world's first fully synchronized sound cartoon. On December 21st, 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first full-length animated musical feature, premiered at the Carthay Theatre in Los Angeles. The film produced at the unheard cost of $1,499,000 during the depths of the Depression. The film is still considered one of the great feats and imperishable monuments of the motion picture industry. Walt Disney is a legend, a folk hero of the 20th century. His worldwide popularity was based upon the ideas which his name represents, imagination, optimism, and self-made success in the American tradition. Walt Disney did more to touch the hearts, minds and emotions of millions of Americans than any other man in the past century. Through his work, he brought joy, happiness and a universal means of communication to the people of every nation. Certainly, our world shall know but one Walt Disney. So, have you heard it guys? Uh, it was clear, right? Want to, do you want to say it one more time or not? Oh, okay. yeah. Don't say it. Uh, we will not say it. Okay? You can uh, forward my video and say it, okay? So, now let's go to the question answers, okay? Here's lesson. Listen to the audio and answer the questions, right? Here is written already. Okay, so now we have a question answer, right? So let's read it. First, what does a polyunion mean? What does polyunion mean? Hmm? Okay, can I'm asking you something. Do you know what I mean? Inventor? Uh, I mean, a polyunion mean? Okay, it means inventor. Got it? No. Let's proceed to the second one. Okay. Second, use the word in your own sentence. You're not going to do to a second one. It's incorrect one. Okay, third. What does the fray, uh, fray br breast upon mean here? I repeat, what does the phrase breast upon mean here? Okay, so what do it mean? I wrote to suddenly. and become very successful okay it means that what does the phrase brushed upon mean to become very successful to suddenly up, um, appear become successful okay that's what it means now uh, fourth question use the word in your own sentences so fourth also we are not going to do okay so what does he put 
mean? It means final. I'm sorry. It means launch. Uh, launch. Okay. Not final. Please do it with yourself or the guys. Six. Could you agree what that Walt Disney created the universe you know communication through the animation? Why do you say so? Do you guys? Okay guys, so sixth one is your work, okay? Now to do it, I repeat it, okay? So see. suddenly appear and became very successful got it and fourth you have to do with uh, yourself two is in not in uh, it's wrong so you don't have to do and first answer is what does final mean it's inventor okay so you will listen the audio right it's quite uh, it was quite easy right okay nice Let's proceed, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have done with the listening comprehension. The topic was Walt Disney. Okay. So now let's proceed. What is next? Let's see. Mm. Next, next, next. Yeah. So the next is applied grammar. So I excited. Who choose to apply grammar? I think those well, they were excited, right? Okay. So let's go to applied grammar. Okay. In applied grammar, we have three tasks: intro to parts of speech, sentences, structure, tenses. So, tenses and sentences structure we don't have any syllabus. And intro to parts of speech we are going to do. From this three tasks, we are going to do intro to parts of speech. <coughs> Sorry. In intro to parts of speech, we uh, there are these all. So, um, these many. Uh, inside the intro to parts of speech these are these many okay guys <coughs> sorry uh, so we are going to do this okay so first is nouns second is pronouns verbs adverbs adjectives conjunctions and seventh is prepositions so are you excited i love you to do this all okay me too <laughs> okay so but we are not going to do this all because we have to finish only one task right and from this all we are going to do this one i mean seventh one this one okay seventh one excited or not guys excited okay we are going to do preposition let's proceed okay guys can you see prepositions so let's do we commonly use preposition to show a relationship in space or time or a logical relationship between two or more people places or thing prepositions are most commonly followed by a noun phrase or pronoun underlined the last time i saw him he was walking down the road i will meet you in the cat opposite the cinema it was difficult to sleep during the flight it was the brushed stone since the 1950s give that to me these all are the words which is underlined is called the preposition got it okay so there are over 100 prepositions in english the most common single word preposition are about about beside between near of to towards so there are hundred of prepositions in the english and the most single word prepositions are about about beside between near of to towards so first worksheet we completed second worksheet we are going to complete in the third part of the video so Bye-bye. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.